CataractCoach.com, how to set up your FACO machine. All surgeons must know this. You gotta be able to do this solo. It's important. So I know you're the big surgeon, but you also have to know how to set up the machine. What if you have a tech who's not capable of doing it, a different tech? What if you're here in an evening for a ruptured globe case? You wanna take the lens out? You wanna evacuate a big hyphema? You have to know how to set up that machine. So let's show you a video of how to do so. All right, let's take a look here. So we've placed in the bag of balanced salt solution, and this is gonna be specific to our machine here, but you should know how your machine works. You close that, and there's some pressure plates in there that'll squeeze the bag. Now here on the side, there's a little special pocket here. We save a little packet of anterior vitrectomy just in case we need it. It's right there, ready to go. You don't have to hunt for it. It's always gonna be there in the machine. So keep those in there just in case. Now I look to the front here. There's the remote control. We see we wrote do not throw away on it. And that's so the technician can control this without even touching the screen. So you can do it from that remote control. You could also place a plastic over the screen if you wanted to and use that as a sterile barrier. So it's important to get things set up here. Here's the Mayo stand cover going over. Mayo stand cover going on top of the arm there on the FACO probe. And then you notice the pockets being made there in that wire rim. In that pocket, we're going to be able to place the FACO probe, etc. Now, we've got to get the, the cartridge. We've got to install that. We've got to in, uh, plug in through the infusion line. And so the machine is very simple. It gives you direct instructions on the screen. If you look at the screen here on the machine, it tells you how to do it. So you place that cartridge in there sterilely. Don't contaminate your hands. And then we can place that in. That's to have the connection to the inflow fluid. Now these two here are connected together. And again, their instructions right on the machine. And then now using the remote control, you can advance to the next step here. So it says here, it's drawing in fluid. So it'll draw fluid, get fluid through the line, make sure there's no air on the lines, and it'll do this and it'll tell you when it's ready. And when it's ready, we can advance the machine over to the vacuum check. So you can see a little bit of fluid going there in that, in that bag. So now we prime the machine, it draws in the fluid and drawing the fluid in and so this is proprietary to this centurion machine but again all machines run similarly now you see that bag in the front now you know it's a peristaltic machine right we talked about the difference between venturi pumps and peristaltic pumps and you should be able to understand and use either one it's really not that big of a deal so we advance to the vacuum check here and it starts to check the vacuum and once it does checks the vacuum and we know it's working well and the pump has been primed now we can place the FACO probe on it. So watch carefully. So now that's done. And it'll tell you when it's ready. It'll give you a notice here that says, okay, we're ready to go advance to the next step. And so here's plugging in the FACO probe, again, done sterilely. You, if you freshly cook these, you wanna make sure they're not too hot. Now we can connect the lines, the infusion line and the aspiration line to the FACO probe. And of course, you should know which one is which. The one that's thinner bore is going to be the aspiration line. The one that's a wider bore is going to be the infusion. Now we'll put the FACO tip on there. You see that should be tightened up about 10 pound feet of torque or about as tight as you turn a bottle of um, soda so you wouldn't lose any carbonation from it. So when that needle goes on there, now the sleeve goes on top and the sleeve depends on the incision size you're using. This is for a 2.75 millimeter incision. And once that's placed in the correct orientation and lined up, then we'll get the test chamber. The test chamber is that little bubble thing down there. And so we'll get that test chamber and get it filled up and then we'll put that on top of the, the FACO tip and have it primed. So our technician here still wants to get some uh, BSS first. So we're gonna go there and we're going to fill. And so this BSS fluid obviously can be used later on in the case. And so filling up a little cup with that, that's just BSS right from the cap, that uh, the bag of fluid of BSS. And then we can advance to the test of the handpiece. And you can see she's already filled the test chamber and placed that on top of the machine, with the FACO tip. And then as it goes to the next setting, it now checks the flow, the vacuum, and it also tunes the FACO handpiece. And once that's tuned up and ready to go, it'll give you a check mark and say, hey, we're ready. Now hit chop mode and we are ready for surgery. So please watch this carefully. Make sure you know how to do this.